Well, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Happy birthday, Jesus. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hallelujah. Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. How did everyone sleep last night? Hallelujah, Jesus. So get up and thank the Lord this morning for your praises and your thanks before you go blind. Well, some people haven't even been asleep. <clears throat> I tell you, I remember those days when I had children. Now, if I don't sleep, it's just because I don't sleep. <laughs> you know? Mm. This is my worship time. I do get some prayer in. I'll probably go back to sleep. Well, I'll try to lay down. Uh, well, I am going to lay down. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I'm going to lay down. I thought I'll probably go back to sleep. I'll probably get some videos. Because I didn't watch videos last night. I did try to get some rest. Even though I tossed and turned, I tried. I'm not a big Coco fan, but of course I had to get with the program. So, this is my first day having Coco since I set my bar up. Now, I do have some fresh Coco in here. I'm sweetened Coco in there. We have my marshmallows. We have some candy bars. I'm a candy, a candy bar, not candy bar, it's like chocolate, just candy bar, the whole thing with the cocoa bar. So we got Santa, we got a tree, we got a peppermint, peppermint, Hershey's, Reese's peanut, no, Reese's, peppermint, our theme here. And this, well, I'm going to have this one, one of these. You dip one of these in a glass of hot milk or hot water. So you see, of course, I just put some water on. So which one do I want? Uh, I saw one with caramel and salt. Boop. Ouch. Something pinching my back. Oh. Pepper, okay, we got salted caramel, peppermint flavor, and chocolate flavor. I'm going to just try to calm it off. Right here my thumb is. <clears throat> That's the one I want. I'm going to put some extra um, marshmallows in mine. I do like to put marshmallows to milk. Merry Christmas, guys. I'll see you later on in this video. Enjoy your morning. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Hey, guys. I am so apologetic to anyone that is new. Um, apologize that I did not introduce myself to you earlier. My name is Desiree and welcome to my channel. I hope that you enjoy yourself here. Feel free to subscribe at any time. Comment below and share this video and 
be a part of the family. And um, for you who are returning, of course, I appreciate you. And for you who just look, don't comment or share, I appreciate you as well. Merry Christmas. Happy post-Christmas. Hi, everybody. Today is the day after Christmas. Hungry, hungry, hungry. That things on this side of the cabinet, I mean, of the kitchen. I am hungry, guys. I'm going to have some yogurt and some raspberries. Some Greek yogurt with some raspberries. Not much, just something to put in my stomach for now until I decide what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I'm up early. It is early, guys. It's maybe like 7 o'clock, but I've been up since about 5. Yeah, I've been up since about 5 o'clock. That's the time I get up to do my morning worship and prayer. I took a shower. Um, I sorted out some laundry because I do have to do laundry. So right now, my, um, I think over the next couple of days, I'm going to uh, be getting my apartment, you know, together, ready for the new year. Ready to bring the new year in, nice and clean. My apartment, nice and clean. I think I want some more bedrooms. <laughs> so my name is Desiree, if you are new. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Um, what I do here is I cook. I do a little housework. I just share my day-to-day -day life with you. And no special, no particular order. When I first started the channel, I did a lot of the cooking only. So, I am too creative to stay in a box. And I can just do cooking, cooking, cooking. But I have other things in my life that I would like to share with you guys. And one of them is my journey with self-care. And um, growing into the comfort of my own skin with with my health issues. <clears throat> it's not always easy, but I have to follow the prompting of the Holy Spirit. I will mention God a lot because it had not been for the Lord with what I do. So this is one of my tubes that I get to um, switch out. I'm going to switch this out because it needs to be changed. And I just simply disconnect it from this and put, put the new one on. And take the old one off. Untwist it. I have to kind of, you know, hurry up because my oxygen start dropping immediately. And this is the old one I just threw it away. No sense keeping it. Now this green cord is where um, the flow of oxygen comes through. 
Now, over the summer, I got sick like four times. I had to go to the hospital. And each time a paramedic came into my apartment, they always said that this cord was too long. They have a 47 inch and another inch under that. So, I did order a small one since then, but I changed that out. You know, every so often you have to change them. So, they sent me back another extremely long one. But I do have one that I just found in the closet that's a little small, shorter than this. But I may just wait until I finish my entire housework to change it because although this cord is longer, it takes the air much longer to get up the cord and in my um, lungs. It's suitable for me because I can carry this throughout the entire apartment and I can go on the, up the patio always oh, see the back of the patio now with the other one. I can go around the entire apartment, but it doesn't take me to the back of the patio. So that's where the challenge comes in. And I do need to go on my patio. And I'll show you why. I'm going to try to tackle. Well, I'm definitely going to tackle laundry. This is a lot. And there's a lot of it because it's, um, let me see. Wow, a month? Is that a month since I've been laundry? Yep, I didn't do the laundry oh. since family left for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's a whole month. But so you see, I have everything that needs to be done. Towel, clothing, bedding, and all the rugs. This is my um office space. <laughs> I'm gonna tackle this and get it organized as much as possible. And that pile of rugs or all rugs that I picked up throughout the apartment. And laid down some new rugs, you know, since I did Christmas. All this is storage. All these boxes and stuff is storage. So I have a storage cabinet up there in the porch if you can see through the curtains. I don't know if you can see through the curtains. That was um, something that I had in this room when it was my bedroom that I used for clothes, but it's so huge now I just use it for storage. So I need some, a couple more bins. So I, get, I need some bins. I don't have bins at all. So I can get this stuff out of boxes and put it out there. And even though I have a tart, is it called a tart that go over it, it's protected from the weather? Um, I, the stuff is protected because I have one of those to go over the storage. I still want bins. So I want to get all this stuff out of the boxes and get some bins. So from, 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 from today, throughout New Year's, this room is going to be in order. Everything else is done. This room is going to be in order. I'm everything organized or whatever. I'm going to just take my time and do laundry because I don't have an aid. Thank God I do have a laundry. We, we do have a laundry room downstairs in this apartment complex. So that's a blessing. But it still takes a lot out of me to do my laundry. I did do my linen. I did my bed. Y'all see my video. This is my, I turned my living room into my bedroom. So, when I'm just sitting around in my bedroom, so I won't sit on the, the white, uh, and you know, your clothes get white dirty. I just put a little, if you can see. Safety guard, just sit on throughout the day so I can protect the white from getting dirty just sitting on. And then if I wanna lay down and relax, and cover up, I have a little floor blanket that I used to put on me to keep the, you know, keeps as clean as long as I possibly can. And um, so, yeah, this is my living space. I'm going to try to do more vlogging and share my life with you guys. If you notice, I don't have my teeth, teeth in today. I mean, I was concerned about getting them, so I could do them screen more often. So I did go on the screen the other day with them. So the next day, when I went to put them on, my mouth was so sore. And there's, and people, uh, some people are like, well, keep them in, you have to get used to them. How you gonna get used to them? And they, and they hurt. They really, really hurt. They're painful. I cannot let that dictate and control my life. You know, I cannot let it do that. I'm, um, I know my health issues. I know there are real people in the world. And that's not why I don't want to get on the screen. I don't want to get on the screen because 
for me. You know, it's just how I feel about myself. So I have to build myself up to appreciate seeing myself like this. If you know, you know, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I have to build myself up. You know, it's just, I just, it's a mental thing. Like I go in front of the world to present myself and don't have any teeth in your mouth. I just can't gather it. I just can't, I'm not settling for that. You understand know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep working with my doctors. You know, this is what can be done. What can be done with this here? Because I'm not gonna settle for that. I'm just not gonna go throughout the rest of my life um, like this. You understand know what I'm saying? I'm young, I'm single. I would love to have a husband one day. I don't go out and date. You know, I'm not in the mood for dating right now. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just not even thinking about dating. But uh, when I first started experiencing this issue, maybe four years ago, whatever, my face was full because it just started. It, it was just starting to happen. Happen, you know, the issue. So my face was still full. So you really couldn't tell unless I told you. And um, but I dated. I dated. Uh, one guy for four months, he had this, he um, passed away and I met somebody else after him and we dated, we dated for two years and then I got sick. So over the years, you know, now that um, I haven't been wearing any or haven't had any, it's starting to, you know, lose the shape, the fullness around here. So to me, it looks really, really obvious, way obvious. Than before, if I can find a picture of it up here somewhere, I'm gonna show you um, what it looked like in the beginning when I first. But back then, I still didn't know I had the osteopenia. I didn't know I had it. I mean, I, I mean, like I was going back and forth to the dentist, and I was losing one tooth at a time, losing, 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 and I just was in a state of depression. I was at the dentist crying, like what's going on with my mouth? Why am I losing my teeth? It was just a horrible, horrible experience. You know, one day I was eating a sandwich and I actually um, bit into my sandwich and a tooth fell out. In my, and I was crunching. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was my tooth. I mean, it literally, I was like, oh my God, a piece of my tooth had broken, fell out to my sandwich. You know, it was just a whole depressing process. It was a long process. So um, I don't know if anybody or you guys are, I don't even know why God led me to this conversation because I didn't even go ahead and talk about this. If anybody know anyone that have osteopenia, you understand what I'm saying? It affects the bones and it's, it's affecting me now, like um, my bones, like sleeping, okay? I don't sleep on my back, I don't sleep on my stomach. I sleep on my side, you know? Um, I can't sleep on this side anymore. If I do, I wake up in pain. You know, this whole thing, because my bone is just not strong. So I switched to this side. Now this side is starting to be painful. So I'm like, okay, how am I going to sleep once my, I, you know, because now I can't sleep on my shoulders because it's the weight and the, um, the weakness of my bones. I'm not, I, I don't have a choice but to sleep on my back. only way I have in the past when I sleep on my back is I have to be propped up. So... I don't know, I'm sharing my story. I, I, I didn't intend to go in here and share this story. Um, but this is what I do with off the camera. But I know God told me to start this channel. And um, I can't get caught up into what I want to do with this channel. I have to ask the Lord to show me why did he want me to start this channel. And um, I know that God will make room, I guess will make room for us to prosper and stuff. So I started off with the cooking because I'm thinking, well, that's what you want to know. Actually, I started off with makeup. And um, I was like, well, I wear makeup regularly, but do I want to sit from a camera every day and apply makeup? I feel like I'm going to do that. So I was like, well, let me start off with cooking. Now, I love to cook. I can cook every day, whatever. You know, I can cook every day. But for the camera, I started to get overwhelmed because um it's a lot it is a lot i mean ask someone who has all their strength and can breathe regularly it's a lot 
especially if you're you're editing, you're filming, you're prepping, you're cooking and cleaning. It's really a lot. It's really a lot. And I was like, not, I was just trying to, um, when I do something, I go all in. I, I go all in. I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I don't like to halfway do anything. So I was like, well, maybe I'm just too much in the blog. Maybe I'll just do some cooking with the house too. You just you know, things I do around the house. But then I was limited because I didn't want to be on the screen without, you know, with this situation. So, but I know God had told me to start this page. And I don't know, right now, I'm depending on God to show me which direction to go with this channel. You know, instead of getting in the way with my thinking, my, you know what I'm saying, my insecurities and whatever. And just trust God. Just trust God. You know, trust God. I'm not going to allow some superficial... I mean, it's, it's important, but my spirit is who I am. My body is just a house for my spirit to dwell in. You understand know what I'm saying? While I'm here on earth, you understand know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be judged when I go to heaven based on my dentures or my mouth or my asking your opinion. You understand know what I'm saying? I'm going to be judged on like who I am as a person and how I serve the Lord and how you know I witness to people, how many souls I have helped bring to Christ, and that's what my responsibility is. To help bring souls to Christ. And and if this is what it takes me to get on the screen and deny myself, deny myself and don't worry about my physical, as long as I'm presentable, then that's what it's gonna have to take. Because I cannot keep allowing like myself to be bound by the lie from the enemy about the vanity. That's what it is, it's vanity, it's vain. You know, and I don't know what type of door God will open for me if my story gets told and heard and the dentist or somebody might know how to help the situation. You know, because when I did the studies, I understand that you have to have bone to get the screws and the, the gums, you know. So I'm like, well, if I don't have any bone, how can I get screws? So, and all this in my head, I haven't been so professional yet. You understand what I'm saying? I haven't even heard back from my dentist yet. I mean, like, so I'm going to have to find a new dentist because this dentist is just having, every time I call them, I don't get, all right. Let me slow down. When I first moved to the area, I went to that dentist, and that's where I got my dentist from. So as the time went on, I started losing the bone, and the dentist needed to be readjusted as a period of time, I went back. So in the process of me waiting for them, my, my insurance to authorize the work, they sold to somebody else. So now in that transition, transition it slowed things down. So finally, I get back in touch with them. They told me they sold things. Like they sold it, they switched out to a new company. So the doctor who put my work in to get my first, um, the doctor who put my work into my insurance company to get the, the order approved, authorized, I can no longer use the, uh, that doctor's um, prescription. The new doctor who came in when they bought the, 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 the business has to put another prescription in. So that's what I'm, okay, fine. I haven't heard anything from them yet. It's going on two months. I keep calling, keep calling. They don't answer the phone. I'm serious. This is was one, a big popular place. I don't know what's going on, whatever, but I think now I'm just going to find another dentist. So I can, I'm getting out of breath. So I can move on, move on, you know? And so as I was saying, like, um, I don't know what kind of doors or how God can use me and such other people and my story, you know, and somebody else out there may have asked me opinion and may need to hear my story. I mean, I, I know somebody else out there have asked me opinion because it's funny how I, I never heard of asked opinion until I was diagnosed with asked opinion and I was um, watching YouTube the other day and a commercial came, a doctor came on and he was talking about his wife how she almost died because she broke her bones, all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you, so fragile that she was walking, didn't even know her bones were broken until she heard herself hit bowling. That's how fragile the bones get. But I listened to the whole story and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I do remember Googling Oscar Opinion. So now that's how I get it in my uh, the timeline. Yeah, I get it in my timeline. And so and that was the first time that I got that particular advertisement and I listened to the whole entire thing and it sounds so helpful 
But of course, at the end, they offer me these pills, cost some money, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not desperate like that to just start buying things if somebody make up a commercial. I don't know. I mean, you can pay people to say it's real. You know what I'm saying? This is a real advertisement, this, that, and the other, or whatever. And so, although it sounds hopeful, I didn't jump off here and buy pills. You know, I said that I was going to probably look into and investigate the pills. And, um, you know, how you couldn't, and you can't trust Google for everything. You know, you really can't trust Google for everything. So, oh, I put all my trust in God. So, I trust God. And I, I really, really believe that because I ask Him every day to guide my footsteps, I believe every direction that I go, if I'm being led by the Holy Spirit, and whatever comes towards me in my footsteps is coming from God. All things good. You know what I mean? All things good come from God. So in the course of the day, as I'm moving forward, I'm being led. And what I experience in the course of that day is coming from God, you know. And, and it's up to me to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit to grab what needs to be, um, what, what I deem to be the message for that, for that day from God. Like what I, what I need to learn, what I need to do. You guys understand me, follow me? Okay, that's it. I don't know why, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for, um, God, me and all spirit and truth. Um, I did not intend to get into this, you know, this morning, but I'm trusting God want me to get in it for a reason, but I am going to eat. I still didn't eat yet. And then we're going to get some laundry done. It's 8 a.m., 8, 10 a.m. I'm going to eat. Then we're going to do some laundry. I just decided to have a nice, simple, light breakfast. I had some avocado um, with some sliced tomatoes and some everything bagel um, seeds and some pink Himalaya salt. Um, what else I have on there? I think that's all I have. I think I'm um, going to have me a bowl of yogurt. Just something nice and light, not too heavy. I haven't been having a big appetite for breakfast here lately, I don't know. But I know that I need to eat, nonetheless, because I take medication in the morning. And so I definitely need to eat, no doubt. So, that's what I'm about to do. Eat this breakfast and get some laundry done. Um, I don't know, just enjoy the rest of my day. <laughs> you know, just enjoy the rest of my day. Uh, yeah, it's nice and peaceful in here. Ooh, ooh, I love when I decorate and um, just lay back and just enjoy the ambiance. <clears throat> it's hectic getting that stuff together, and it's even more hectic <laughs> taking it down. I don't even think about taking it down. I just go ahead and enjoy it while it's up. And I keep my decorations up until, like, maybe the day after New Year's. The day after New Year's. Or that week. You know, that week. Yeah, that's why I don't put it up until after Thanksgiving. Because if I put it up before Thanksgiving, I am definitely going to be tired of it way before the first of the year. And um, so, so I'm right on time for my schedule. <laughs> I'm right on time for my schedule. So, yeah. Um, 
I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to share with you guys. You know, I'm feeling more comfortable the more I open up and talk and just, just do it. You, you know, just do it. I can't stay. Well, as long as I stay in my head about everything, I'm going to allow the enemy to defeat me. And he's a liar because I'm already a, a conqueror, you know. I'm already a winner. I'm a conqueror. So I just need to act like it. I can do what the Bible says I can do. I can have what the Bible says I can have. You know what I mean? I am who God says I am. And that's the bottom line. I need to walk victorious and keep my head up. You know, fear not. Don't be anxious for anything. And that's the bottom line, you know. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. From this point on, I'm just going to believe my best. Do some good content out there. And just take a day at a time. Don't put any high expectations on myself. Definitely don't get caught up into comparing myself with other people because um, I look back and I, I discovered YouTube years ago, but I didn't know that, you know, it was a possibility for me to earn it, living off of it. My children were small then, and sometimes I just look and I'm like, oh, wow, I could have had a lot of storylines and I raised my kids and blah, blah, blah. I said blah, 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 I always do it. <laughs> and now it's just me. I feel like it's boring what type of content I'm going to bring, but... Listen, I'm not a boring person. You know, I just need to be myself and allow God to use me. You know, as long as I seek God first in all that I do and have Him being um, the center and the head of the other day, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay, you know. Um, yeah, oh boy, I know I'm boring you to death. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I need to see, be mindful of the words that you speak out your mouth. Be very mindful. You show up first, you're staring at me Like I can do something for you You lick your lips, you think you're slick You stalk like I'm a piece of me It's a very, very light breakfast. At one time, I went on a binge with this breakfast, was eating this breakfast every day for maybe a month straight, every morning. <laughs> and, oh, add some green onions to your eggs. <clears throat> sometimes I have them scrambled, and sometimes I ate them in omelets. But, yeah. Nonetheless, it's a delicious breakfast. So, I'm going to dive in. And, um, I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Let's go, Kylie! Let's go, Kylie! That is one awesome family. I really like the way she's raising her children. Her daughter is on, on a track meet. That's what all that screaming is about. They're on a track meet. And um, it was interesting. Earlier in this video, they were talking about going to college. And um, she's getting them prepared for college. And she, she saved up cash to send them to college. $25,000 per semester. For all her children to go to school. And now this lady. Been doing YouTube. Since she was in school. Um, since she was a teenager. Young adult. Now she got a PhD. 
And her husband is Korean. And YouTube really, that's what they've been doing all their life. YouTube and YouTube pays for all the kids to go to college and everything. But yeah, she's been doing it for a long, 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 long time. But I just love her story. She's one of my favorite YouTubers, you know. It's just interesting. A lot that I'm learning from other people. You know. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to end this video here. Um, I think it's long enough. Um, I believe in the stick to get to the short story time or maybe the long story time. But, you know, when the Holy Spirit is you got to take advantage of the opportunity to be obedient. So, I hope that you learned a little bit more about myself. Um, I hope I wasn't repetitive. Uh, like, I hope some things I shared today was something that you've never heard before. Because I know I talked about the osteopenia before. So, I don't want to be repetitive and say the same thing. Um, when I start talking about it, um, my health issues, I hope I can bring updates, you know, and progress reports and things of that nature. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I enjoyed making this video. And, and sorry for being late. I don't like to say we're really sorry, but I really apologize for it being late. Um, yeah, so... I hope you guys enjoy your holiday, happy new year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. In the meantime, be extraordinary in all that you do. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. He loves you, and I don't need permission to love you either. Bye!